This is Physics, Chapter 1, Physical Quantities and Measurements. Lesson 8, Zero Errors in Micrometers. Now, in this video, I will try to help you learn how we can manage zero errors in micrometers. Now, what is a zero error in a micrometer? Well, when we are using a micrometer, when the anvil and the spindle meets, by right, that should, there should not be any reading shown on the micrometer, whether on the sleeve or the thimble. So this means that when there is nothing measured, we should find that the zero marking on the thimble should meet the datum line perfectly in this manner. So if that is the case, we can say that this micrometer has no zero error. And the reading therefore is just given as 0, 0.00 millimeters. However, due to wear and tear, some micrometers can give us some zero errors. And there are two types, similar to that of a vernier caliper. The first one is a positive zero error. So let us have a look what positive zero error is like. You find that for a positive zero error, the zero mark on the thimble is below the datum line. If it's below the datum line, we find that the third marking meets the datum line over here. So therefore, this suggests that there is already a length of 0 0.03 millimeters present, even when the micrometer is not used to measure anything. So if there's already a 0 0.03 millimeters present, what we will need to do to correct the reading is that we will have to subtract this 0 0.03 millimeters from, from all readings taken with this micrometer. So it makes sense, isn't it? Now let's have a look at the second zero error, which is an, what we call the negative zero error. For this case, right, notice that the zero marking on the thimble is above the datum line. For this particular situation, this suggests that there's already some missing length even before we start measuring with a micrometer. So what is this missing length? For this particular case, although we can we can see that it's a 40, it is a 47th marking, we do not take 47 as the zero error. Instead, we read backwards and find the number of intervals from zero to this line. So from here, we find that there are actually three intervals and this will therefore give us a missing length of negative 0.03 millimeters. So what do we do here? Well, logically, if we have some missing length at the beginning, whatever reading that we measure from the, or we take from the micrometer, we will have to add the 0.03 millimeters to all readings in order to correct the measurement. Okay, let's have some practice here. Okay, what would be the true length measured if this micrometer had no zero, read, uh, zero error? Okay, so let's have a look. What it would be the main scale reading here? The main scale reading should be 1.5 millimeters. And this particular marking meets the datum line. So therefore, this marking corresponds to the 38 marking. So the thimble scale will be given as 0 0.38 millimeters. Adding these two up, we will get 1.88 millimeters. So now let's have a look. What happens if the micrometer actually has a positive zero error of 0 0.02 millimeters? If what we read from the micrometers is 1.88 millimeters and there's already a 0 0.02 millimeter positive er zero error, we'll have to then subtract this amount from 1.88. So that should give us the actual reading or corrected reading of 1.86 millimeters. What happens if there's a zero error reading of negative 0 0.03? Well, for this particular case, recall that we will have to make it up by adding this number to 1.88. So that will give us 1.91 millimeters. So one last practice. So if you have a student who is using a micrometer to make some measurement, right? The diagram on the left hand side shows the initial zero reading. Okay, so obviously since the zero mark on the thimble, since it does not meet the datum line, this suggests that there is already a zero error. And since it is above the datum line, we know for a fact that the zero error is a negative zero error. So for negative zero error, we recall that we actually have to look for the number of intervals from the zero mark. And there, sh there are actually six intervals here, and therefore the zero error reading should be written down as negative 0 0.06 millimeters. 
Now the diagram on the right hand side shows the reading shown on the micrometer. And this should be read as 5.47 millimeters. Well, we know that this reading is does not give us the actual length of the object being measured. So the actual length of the object, we have to take into account the zero errors. So for this case, since it's a negative zero error, we have to add, add this value into 5.47. And that will give us 5.53 millimeters. So this brings us to the end of this particular video on measuring micrometers and handling zero errors in micrometers. Thank you.